What's the one thing I do every day that helps me be productive? I'd love to have uh, some dark chocolate. I mean, the one thing that helps me be productive is coffee, but I, I kind of get in full of energy and really want to get things done, so I think it's that desire to get things done that really helps me be productive, and I'm really decisive. I wake up and I work out, and that has to be the first thing I do before I even look at my phone. Um, it helps me stay sane and move throughout my day with a good amount of energy. I think that's a question that many women are struggling and I think it often depends on what your definition is of quote unquote all. Uh, so I think it's a very individual question and uh, in my case, um, uh, I think the answer is yes. No, but I, think, but I think you can't have it all at the same time. The balance that you're trying to strike is there are some moments in your life where you have to prioritize your family and, and your friends, and then there's other times where you have to focus on work, but usually that can't be at the same time because you only have 24 hours in the day. Oh, I hate that whole notion of having it all. I think it's just such a myth that is such a burden in the end. And I always feel like it's that moment of deciding what's the straw that's going to break the camel's back and then correct it before it happens. So there's no such thing as balance, but I'm always trying to figure it out and strike it. It's not that I've not made any mistakes. I'm just trying to think of an appropriate one. <laughs> This is just a general rule for life, but not taking things personally um, and understanding that people have all kinds of things going on in their lives. And so sometimes you might get a passive aggressive email or you know, have a weird interaction with a colleague, but always understand that you're a professional and um, everybody's trying to achieve the same goal. I really am passionate about what I do. And sometimes that passion can get me a little in trouble. And I think I'm trying to learn all the time how to have a little emotional distance from my work. I do a lot of hiring and there seems to be um, a lack of um, commitment to one company, one organization, one platform. And so I would respect um, someone who is starting out to, you know, give a couple of years to be a part of a team and to learn an ebb and flow and be able to get through obstacles uh, before switching up their games so quickly. The first thing you should do is find a good mentor, somebody that you can be honest with about you know, the ugly side of being a woman. I'm a woman of color in a corporate environment, and so I'm usually the only black woman um, in meetings that I'm in, and so that can be really difficult. So if you're starting out in your career and you're uncertain uh, how to tackle some of those challenges, you should get a mentor who's been through it before. When you're just starting out your career, there is nothing better than just working harder than everybody else, and it sounds so simple, but if you're the one who's there late and starting early, it gets you noticed. If you volunteer to do more work than is on your plate and on your job description, it makes a huge difference. One of the critical things is that we have to understand that the only folks who are going to do it um, are women and we have to be more systematic and organized. So that would be everything from understanding our economic buying power and being able to create movements to meeting in more kind of official capacities, uh, be it in the commercial, academia, or cultural areas. The difference between how we treat women and men in the workplace is that men are promoted um, based on their potential and women often wait until they have all the qualifications to apply for a position. And I think that the people in power, and sometimes that means men, need to look at women um, the same way they look at those bright, shiny young men who they say, you know, he reminds me of me when I was that age. Oh, I feel like we're chipping away at that glass ceiling every day. And I think more women who help more women will help more women and we'll all get there together. And I do think that sometimes women think that it's a zero sum game. I think we all think that if one of us succeeds, then everybody else has to fail. And it just can't be that way. We all really have to bring each other up and realize that we're stronger together.